It was the old fake retreat. I should probably use these units, particularly the archers at the back, but history says apparently I didn't. So I won't. Greetings to you all, and welcome to Let's Play Age of Empires 4. Brand new game, literally just been released. So I thought, I'm going to be playing through the campaign anyway. Why don't I bring you guys along for the journey? We're going to single play our way through the Norman campaign, first of all. But hey, chances are we'll get through them all. Let us begin in 1066. It's pretty obvious what I'm going to select here, right? Let's crack on. Some events leave a deep mark on history, but none on the land. This is the site of the Battle of Hastings. After almost a thousand years, no traces of the bloody conflict can be seen. But here, the fate of England turned. It's where a king was killed, and his victor claimed the throne. October 14th, 1066. We know what happened here on this day, thanks to this. The Bayer Tapestry. A carefully preserved illustrated record of events. It shows the main players. Harold, the newly crowned Anglo-Saxon King of England. And his challenger, William. Duke of Normandy. William claimed the previous king had promised him the crown. So, he assembled an army and prepared to sail to England to fight King Harold for the throne. But a storm thwarted his plans. Meanwhile, Harold discovered that a Viking invasion had landed in the north. Another threat to his crown. So he raced to fight them. In France, William waited for the right conditions to sail across the channel to England. The weather cleared. He seized his chance. Two hundred and fifty miles north, Harold had defeated the Vikings. Now, hearing of William's arrival, his army sped south. At nine o'clock in the morning, on this hill, William's Norman army were ready to do battle with Harold's Anglo-Saxon men. The stage was set, and up for grabs, England itself. You would put me in control of the Battle of Hastings? I feel like I should have some kind of bias in this fight, considering my heritage, but... You know, just give me either side, I'll make sure they win. By a tapestry be damned, we'll change the course of history if we must. Although I feel this game won't let me do that. Also, for the start of that cinematic, I thought it was genuinely some... CGI, and I thought it was the best CGI I'd ever seen in my life, until I realised we're actually looking at Hastings, in reality. I felt foolish, but not as foolish as I'm going to feel when it comes to talking about historical facts that I should know from my secondary school education, which I've long since forgotten. On October 14th, 1066, William of Normandy stood ready for battle at the base of a hill. That's a bad place to be stood. To King Harold of England and his Anglo-Saxon army. We've all learned this the hard way. 
here, on this hilltop, the fate of England would be decided. Just back up a bit, mate. We'll fight him on the flat. No. That's a terrible idea. Why would I do this? I'm just going to wait it out. Maybe I'll examine the troops a little bit. But welcome. This is Age of Empires 4. I have Duke William. I have absolutely no idea how this fight's going to go down. I can't control the, the units. Okay, I can only control this little platoon. Okay, that saves me frantically clicking, I suppose. Automatic formation! I love it. They rearranged me into the optimal formation, where I sacrificed my horsemen at the front. That's one way of doing it, I suppose. I'm going to be honest, I feel like there's too much for me to control here. On the plus side, Duke William is going to be alright, for the simple fact that he can't get anywhere near the front lines. Though William's army fought fiercely against the shield wall, it would not yield. As one man fell, another took his place. I mean, the same thing is happening from my side, to be honest with you. ...made for a near impenetrable barrier. Realising his army could not break the shield wall, William called for a retreat. To be fair, I had planned for this retreat long before William did. Oh, you foolish fools. It was the old fake retreat. I should probably use these units, particularly the archers at the back, but history says apparently I didn't. So I won't. I save the archers for the rainy days to come. We've essentially let them reformate, reformationize, get back into formation. I'm going to assume the real fight wasn't quite this scrappy with this many onlookers. Oh good lord, the rest of the armies have noticed. Don't make out like I left the archers till now. Because I knew the spearmen were coming. That's just idiotic. More likely I forgot to use the archers. And what is this tactic? What is this four at a time approach? Idiots, the lot of you. Why am I injured? Well, I mean, I know why I'm injured. I don't like being injured. More Norman men at arms reinforced William's army. I've just found the hotkey that lets me select all units on the screen. This has saved me miles of arm movement over the course of this let's play. As I no longer need to do this every five seconds. I appreciate that very much. There's a lot of screaming going on here, lads. Can we quiet it down a little bit? Yes, yes, he's injured. He's alright. Don't worry about him. I sent one guy to look after him. My Duke, are you okay? Yeah, he's fine. Anglo-Saxon archers joined the fray, and the Normans' deadly cavalry ready to charge. But first, William's forces had to eliminate the enemy spearmen. Whose sturdy pole arms could easily bring down a horse. That's true. Spearmen are effective against horses, both in actuality and in this game. This game has a bit of a rock paper scissors thing going on, where you've got spearmen which are good against the cavalry, but the archers are good against the spearmen, and then the cavalry are good against the archers. I, I'm still dragging boxes, aren't I? Stop it. Boxes are for the weak. What's this rear guard for? It's not going to work. Well, 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 look who we have here. All right, men, no one stab this man. The Anglo-Saxon army was in disarray. Their shield wall had been neutralized 
and their numbers were dwindling. This must happen. It's fate. It's not happening. Damn it, all the archers. Make history come true. By the way, if I've made a mistake and it wasn't him who had the arrow through the eye, I'm going to look like a moron. But I'm just going to say it with conviction. Oh, he's alive again. I feel like I'm losing the fight and my king is in the worst possible location imaginable. It's okay, he's blending in. And then Duke William retreated with all of his archers and began kiting. I remember this part towards the end of the war. It was tense. It, oh, I have many more units. Never mind, it's not as tense as I thought it was. Get in there. Why do both sides keep reinforcing constantly? Why didn't we use our full army to begin with? No more reinforcements. Never mind. This is it. So long as the archers live, I'll be fine. So I suppose hero units, which I'm going to call the things with crowns over their heads, are revivable once they fall? That would make sense to me. So the same would go for Harold, which is why he came back to life. Is this your encirclement, by the way? It's not complete. That's it, hold this flank. You never know when the enemy might strike. Not to know, I've got no more reinforcements. Archers, it's time. What's going on? The man's immortal. Archers, it's not time. Attack things that actually take damage instead. Fantastic. Now someone make me a tapestry. In the confusion, some loyal soldiers fought to the death, while others scattered in panic. Oh yeah, and what are these two doing? A good day on the battlefield. And defeated, the last of the Anglo Saxon army fled for their lives. The Normans celebrated victory over the English king, but William's quest to rule England was just beginning. And thus our campaign begins. We will conquer all of England. We will take England from the English. At what point do we call them English? I don't know my historical accuracy, all right. But the good news, I've learned how to build a castle. I'll, I'll watch that in my own time. You're here for gameplay. Let's continue. In the next video, hopefully you'll join me for that, and I shall see you then.